Osa. We are playing Railroader. I think we are. Yes, we are playing Railroader. And here I am back at Bryson. And the big question I have is, do we have enough money to start anything new? It is six o'clock in the morning. Um, okay, first things first. Passenger equipment conditions. Not the best. Um, Bryson Bridge is going to cost us 1500 but I need a good locomotive to haul that with. <coughs> now, I am probably looking at this one. Not enough money. This one. Not quite enough money. Um... So, it looks like we're stuck with our two main locomotives for now. Let's pull up the locomotive list. Uh, currently, we are set on number two, which looks like... Yes, indeed. Looks like our... Um, our train. A passenger train. Yes, that one. Let's go. Let's put front four. For now. How's fuel? Ah, oh, we could use some water. Let's not go scooting out of here at uh, 50 miles an hour. And let's set that to the thing. Okay. Need lots of brakes. Too many brakes. Not enough brakes. Uh, exactly the right amount of brakes. And I think we probably need to tell the train where it's going. So, train's all set. Go back to expecting that. So once the passenger train is on its way, um, it will be time to head off over to the uh, exchange and see what we've been left. I did trip through to six o'clock at the end of last episode and I have oiled up all of the uh, axles so let's just check this train uh, hello you're fully oiled and you're fully oiled okay so passenger train is good to go um, of interest I think it now tells us Equipment, Mogul is at 100%, passenger cars are both at 100%, so everything's good. Let's turn the brakes off and head on down to the Y. I am most pleased that these signals have now been fixed. I've been watching Blue Wizard on YouTube, and he's still in the early part of the game where uh, if you've only got one block of signals, they don't work properly when you reach the end of the block. Okay. That might be good. Orders, road, reverse, 20. So that will take us into the Y. And I should 
Holy moly. That's a lot of people waiting to go places. And I've got everything here set. Locations Ela. Should check how many passengers are at Ela today. 62. No freight. It's probably not going to be anyone getting on at Ela. We're going to have to run a few services today. So I can say Whittier Depot. Ooh, 93 passengers waiting to go back to Pryson. And we have a bunch of stuff at the wind. That there, yes. We have some of those. We have some logs. We have some other stuff. So where is train number one? Oh, no. Let's go back to train number two. Let's get him started. He's not ready yet. So, train number one, we are going to need to sort out the freight. Oh, it's got so many passengers. I'm kind of thinking I do want... Um, I do want to make sure that I'm running a lot of passengers today just so that we keep them coming. I'm gonna s no, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to switch that to there. So passenger train will head up there and stop. <coughs> okay, passenger train, go forward. And that's all set to go to Bryson. <coughs> so, train one is stuck in the shed. Okay, we have Whittier Sawmill. We've got a lot of cars to sort out. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll sort those out before we do anything else. I think right now four cars there that need to be returned, one there that needs to be returned, and I have a short um, log train. Okay, that's good. Let me check. Oh. 2.6 tons of coal, we're going to go. At least the brake. Road forwards 15 miles an hour <coughs> so basically what I've now done is we are not keeping up with the wood supply here um, if we look at the Whittier sawmill it takes 15 cars a day we can tr we can supply 12 from L2 we can supply 12 from L1. L2 has 5.8 logs, probably 12 full cars. So by adding these four I can supply 16 um, with 12 there, 12 there, or 4 there. 8, actually 8. It'll work out, trust me. So, what I'm going to do is switch that there, switch that there, and we'll change that to AI yard forwards, we're about to, and get this changed. Yes, that's all set to go up to L1. So once we drop the cars at L1, we can race up to L2 and uh, grab the 12 full ones, bring them down here, and these will be filling while we wait. Oops. Take 
Uh, where's the break on this? Over there. And AI Yard, let's go AI Road, reverse. Yeah, 20, 25. <coughs> so we'll do a quick, quickly log run. Now, back on the uh, locomotive front. But also, we'll have a lot of money left over if we bought one of these. Now, what? One of the things I am thinking is potentially I could buy another small locomotive and then we can do short freight trains and logs. We'll have another locomotive here that I can do switching with. I won't be able to open up the grade until I can haul a heavy load. Um, but I can also, after today potentially, base or swap locations. So I can have a locomotive here in the morning, a locomotive at Bryson in the morning. I can do all the collect the stuff at Bryson work. While I'm doing logs and passengers. And then I can transfer that train down to Ela, uh, sorry down to Bright uh, Whittier uh, while this you know the train that started out here sorts out all the cars here and starts heading out back out to uh, Bryson with all the green stuff and then we'll get a bigger locomotive to run with um, to run with stuff um, the works trains. The works trains are very heavy, like a thousand tons upwards. Oh, the Atlantic is a 26, 25, 7, 25, 6. Oh, yeah. It has potential. That is heavier than that. By quite a bit. That explains why I like the Mogul. It does have good pulling power, better than the Consolidation, which technically is a freight locomotive. Um, not too sure about the American the switch is fun but again it's it's very thirsty and coal it use intensive because um, it's designed for switching tiny wheels so you have to turn the wheel around lots to get anywhere do I buy a small the small mogul just to do switching here oh. well it gives me something to do so yes we'll buy the mogul now and that's probably at the back end of this train oh yes uh. Well, it's not exactly ideal, but I'll have train three. Okay, that is where I want it. Train brake is off, reverse, go. So, first thing I'm going to need to do is fill this up with stuff. Actually, what I might do is use it to go and fetch the sawmill home deliveries first, after we've refueled it. It is number three. come out this way do I have a flare? I'm going to stick a flare just outside the yard so if I do ever AI 
it's going to stop before it disappears off to uh, silver, which would be potentially a bad thing. Oh, now, hang on. No, I do not want to fetch. <coughs> okay. We'll organize things here first. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm good with how this is going to work out. So I'm going to put the Whittier Sawmill stuff in there. Only. We'll use the 10 wheeler to deal with all of that. Said first things first, let's get fuel and water. <coughs> How full is that? 32.2, that's good. I do now have $2,344. Many, many brakes, lots of brakes. I think we might need to back that up a tad. Stop. Okay, let's reset over here. So, sawmill, 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 sawmill. Sawmill, 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 sawmill. And two for the wood chips. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that all fits over there. If it doesn't, it'll be a little bit unfortunate. Um, SCR1 has reached the end of the line. So. Those aren't for, well, no, we usually have to wait a minute or two. Back this out and stop. Set your maximum 25. Reset this area. Okay, so that's going to head up to two. You can go back here. Inspect that. You're full of coal back you up there. Nope, that was right. Ooh. Close enough for government work. So, once that's filled, I think it's about 4,000 litres of or gallons of water. And the main reason I like the mobile is it has a better fuel supply than the 10 wheeler. So what I might end up doing is queuing up the 10 wheeler for sale now, at the end of the day, and then buying a big mogul later, tomorrow. But I don't know where we're going to end up here, so we'll see how we go. 
and we have a lot of stuff to deliver that's going to pay us so we might make a good amount of money here how's this doing eight thousand ding dong close that close that AI yard reverse 20 go How is number two doing? Passenger, he's at Governor Island already. Good. CR1 is approaching the place with the loggy things. So, uh, CR1. Uh, forward 25. Yard forward 10, go. As we see here, these are all full and ready to go. So by by doing the split, I should be able to end up with some of our... Um, we should never have to wait too long for the log cars um, to load. Because we're always working another load somewhere else. Okay, you're done with yard road work. Reverse 25. Okay, so he'll be good. CR3, go. And that's connected. So, Cameo, welcome. And thanks for the raid. Okay, I need to get this thing rolling. Release handbrake. Whoops. Release handbrake. So, how am I going to do this? I'm going to haul this off one at a time. So pull forward two cars. I'm going to dump them in that line there. We can't really go anywhere until the log train returns, so we'll see where that is when we're done. Put that forward. So Appalachian Hardworks, Bryson, that's the Bryson team track, that's the one by the station. Population Hardwoods, Hila House, and that's it. So we don't have an awful lot of stuff to deliver, but um, it's enough to be going on with. Back to 10. I am doing breaks very well at the moment. Um, I think Mrs. Osa's taking a nap. Uh, teenage Osa's doing well whatever teenagers do and I get to play trains that's zero that's good you can stop now uh, forwards there yeah, five-ish wants to be on the front. So doing this bit isn't too difficult because the train will only reverse as far as the couple point. Um, it's pulling forwards you have to guess how many freight cars to travel. So the next one, I want to pull forward about five. Split the rake. It's 
So I should end up with the stencil car here. I split that off. We'll then shuffle. Well, actually, no. Do I? I want to go three. I want to go three. I made a mistake. Zero, zero stop. Break. Forwards five. So actually, no, stop, stop. I do want the waiting to solve that stuff. I'm an idiot. I did want to go forward five. I'm double, I'm overthinking myself. So I'm going to go forward two more. I'm thinking I'm putting the green ones in here. I'm not. I'm putting the sawmill stuff here. Huh. Into the mind of things. So number two is still doing whatever number two is doing. Number two, one is doing uh, logging. Okay, now we go forward five ish. We actually want to go forward about three and a half, but uh, it is what it is. All I have to do is clear that switch and we're backing up again. I'm going to back up 10. And I might drop the handbrake on that too. So hopefully once we hit this we'll be able to roll it back about 3-4 car lengths. Blue ones in the center track, the green ones in the center track. We'll then grab the next rake of yellows. So, two, one, stop. That didn't go clunk. It did go clunk. Okay. It's fine. Again, need to pull forward to about here. That might be a five car length. Indeed, yes, I already did the eating thing. Eating was quite early tonight, so that was fun. Okay, passenger trains at Gila. Uh Log train is still coming. I should be able to sort the rest fairly efficiently by the looks of it. I'll be putting the Appalachian hardwood car together. And I am playing with um, interchange deliveries, uh, sort of hard mode, not super difficult mode. Uh, let's put the brake on. Then disconnect, then go forwards uh, around about 10 ish. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to go forward six, that's not a number. Um, 
is that the log train? The log train is here. Super awesome. Um, see how one forwards go. said I wanted to go forward six so um, break off yard forward five and gets down to about three I'll click for five again gone too far. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I timed that just right. And break release. Go forward another five. Because three is not an option. I mean I don't mind that there's things missing. Half one, two, five, ten, twenty. You're doubling up each time, but it does mean that you have to um, edit your choice at times. Okay, I'm going to back into there. So all of those are sawmill. And then we've just got the Ela house one left. As I said, hopefully this all fits into that spur. I think it does. Place those together, and I want to go back. Uh, let's go back five. That's posted against us, so that's good. Okay, so the next thing, everything's fine there. Let's put the handbrake back on here. I'm still in the habit of putting on two handbrakes just in case. See so one, reverse 25, and switch that one over. Okay, how are you doing? Ooh, the handbrake, release the cars, and number three, forwards, five. Okay, so we did the logging thing. I don't have to do this anymore. Because you can switch the points from the map now. Okay, we do have a pickup from here. That's awkward. Let's all get out. I did this I sorted it so that the first the nearest one to the front would be the first one out so CL1 orders forwards go and we'll go 
and a couple. Yes, you are. Super awesome. Breaks off. And two, four, five, maybe ten. It's probably eleven. I've got other things to worry about for a minute. So, we're going to need to switch this one back to yard mode for ten. Go. Four, that, that strikes me as a little bit short. I obviously did something the other day because we normally get about seven here and two here. Maybe I did a partial collection, that wouldn't surprise me either. Three's done. set up as it is I want that open and that open and we are set for departure with the stencil car at the front three cars set it for five train one is where it needs to be oh yep actually it is so switch that switch that no don't switch that and one two three train one forward Maybe 10, about 20. I'm not proud. Overestimation is not a bad thing. And switch that. Switch that. And SCR3. Reverse. Go. And we are approaching Whittier West. Hopefully we are approaching the main through track. We are. I'm jump to the back. So again, how close are we there? Ooh, that might take some manual adjustment. Or not. I think that's going to be good enough. Switch that to there. What I'm really concerned with is having enough room to get onto this track here when we depart. We are ready to depart. So, forward. Road. Now let's hit it for 25. Meanwhile, you should be all ready too. Um, obviously, select the train. I'll be able to see what's going on with it. Oh, oh, end of track. SCR1. Yep, reverse. Uh, let's go reverse road. At about 20. Seems like a good number. Okay, he's out of here. 
switch that. It's coming in there and switch that. And passenger train has arrived. So I think I've got mine set for 10 minute wait, which is good. It's more than enough time to get all the freight work done before I need to make a move on the uh, passengers. Okay, switch that. CR1, that would be you. Thoughts. Toot toot. Okay, you you do the stealth ninja thing. Now the next cars are gonna come in here and up there. And we get paid. Getting paid is gonna be good. And J Doves, welcome! You're new here. This is not my usual fare. I usually play Farming Simulator on Saturday morning, but for right now I have a small se intermittent series on Railroad. And we've pretty much just started. It is day six. And for day six, I need a bigger locomotive. That's my big push at the moment. Okay, you can go there and Back up. Three is coming to a stop. Why are you coming to a stop? Because the signals are red. Pass the signal, please. Thank you. So, how are we going to do this? Oh, we're going to get smart. So, I am going to... When he feels like it. Stop! Thank you. fouling the main line so we need to clear this quickly There's anything over there that needs to go yet. Uh, 2,000 gallons, 8,000 gallons, and that's pretty good too. And we just got paid $349. Nice. Not as much as I've spent already. Alrighty, brakes, brake on, release, 
that. Here we are, card reverse, five. And we'll switch that now. And we'll switch that. And back to three. Uh, my ball three. Thank you. Okay, this is where we get crazy. Handbrake on. Forward five. Uh, and he wants to leave. Sadly, not gonna happen. Fortunately, he's looking at a red light, so he's just going to say, oh, well, darn it, I'm stuck. And that's fine. But he's going to behave much better than if he had a fuse in the way. So, establish that. That goes back five. Jump at... Oh, you didn't go back far enough. Well... Go back. Switch that. Forward ten. Go. Okay, back to number three. Where is number three? Right there. Good. I'm going to switch that and the break on that. I'll send you back another car length. Thank you. thing. No, I did take the handbrake off. Oh, not that. I'm gonna need the help text. Uh, freight types where it controls. Push. Control click. On the engine's car to open the inspector. No. Lean left, lean right. No. Shift R pushes or rewails the car. Shift R. This is not working. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Oh, okay then. It is what it is. I'm going to have to do this. The hardware SCR3. You're still connected. Disconnect. Hold up. Wrong one. that me? Not being in first person. Maybe that was the thing. This is me being in first person. Nope. That will 
be the phone. This does not want to move for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, it might be too close. Damn it. Okay. That's not going to work. Guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. Having wasted enough time doing that. Right, you're connected. Let's uh, throw that. Trust that I left everything as they should be. So what I'm trying to do here is get this to roll down the hill and up there and just stop in that spur so I can pick it up on the way home. It's not playing. So we'll do this the other way. Involves me doing this. Oh no, I still need to come back, so it's not the greatest plan. But, oh, because the brakes. Shoot. I needed to bleed the brakes. Okay. Let's put the handbrake on. And pull that forward. Ten. 20, go. So yes, that should have rolled forward, but the air brake still had um, air in the brakes, so not playing fun. Now, I can release that handbrake, and that should, should, Seriously? Why do you not want to move? Oh, there you go. And there it goes. <laughs> now, ideally, I need that switch there thrown back. SCR1 approaching a thing. Complain about the switch if it's too close. But this should now roll all the way into here where I apply the brake. I can't believe it was that difficult. And I need to get off the tracks. And stand in the middle of the road, why not? And back to here. There we go. that and we can apply that handbrake now. That was what's supposed to happen about 10 minutes ago. I can't believe I did not check the brake pipes to see if there was air in them. Okay, meanwhile, over here, ooh, it's a little bit tight, but close enough, we can back up here. Oh. This train might be too long for that spur, just saying. But right now, we have stuff to do, stuff to deliver. So, 
that's set. That wants to be set straight. Actually, round the corner. I don't know why I wear a brighton. Around the corner, somewhere over here. That wants to be set. Good. I did hear a toot, so you should have delivered. Good. So also that little piece of shuffling there, this is going to be the first car ready to leave. This will take a bit longer. Let's drop it down to 10. What switch is it? Oh yes, the switch is against us. Indeed it is. Did we make it all the way? No, we did not. Okay. Number one. AI yard forward. Going to have to be five car lengths. So you can sometimes fit all the train in there. It just depends if you've got any long cars. It's just going to mess you up. Anyway. I need to get back to here because... That needs done. That needs done. That switched and that switched. That is clear for Bryson. Let's go. Um, who's got brake on? You. Release. Road forward. Yeah, we'll go 30. Mm, we're not proud. Uh, that needs to be set for there and as soon as I open this up that should release number two well as soon as the freight cars cleared the block that will re release the passenger train so as soon as that passes the block signal rises train proceeds let's go have a look at number one Okay. Apply the handbrake. And SCR1 back five. Yeah, five cars. Probably hit the uh, the stop, but it's fine. So three's gone. Two's doing its loop. We can spend a little bit more time with this one for a moment. And okay, we'll switch that that way. So we got one forwards road fifteen. Off you go. Okay, passenger train. You in? You are in. Apply the handbrake. And again, with this run, what I'm intending is, where possible, always run this passenger train with a locomotive at the front facing in the direction of travel. I'm going to have to watch this, so um, that's coming to the end of the line.
Uh, payment for delivery of seven cars. Yeah. Some. Actually, that was quite meh. Seven cars for 392. It's only about 60. How are you doing for coal? You've got four tons of coal. That's fine, man. Yeah. One. Do that thing. Oh! It didn't all fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I miscounted. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why nothing fitted. Like the handbrake. Do for that. And you can reverse. I thought there was only seven there. Seven plus two would have made it. Anyway, let's um, get back to this guy. Did not realize. Okay, what have I done with these? Inspect passenger, stop everywhere. Copy to the other car. So reason for setting it to Whittier, it will now stop at Whittier. It doesn't have anybody to drop off. But it will um, it will load passengers that are waiting. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And yard mode. Reverse five car lengths. Who else is doing a thing? You are doing a thing. Oh yeah. No, don't want to do that. Let's do that. You can go forwards now. Connect and release the handbrakes. You are now clear. Road forwards for 30. I think you can ignore the speed restrictions. Actually, probably need to set that one. Yes. And we'll switch that back to through traffic. And number one. Yay. Oh, hello. Any time now, you can stop. It's only 53 bucks. Good grief. That's really sad payments. I wonder if the payments drop if you uh, don't get money. If you don't... Uh, what's the word for it? If you don't go for higher tiers. I mean, it's not to worry too much because we do get paid quite well for the uh, log cars. Okay, go get those two. Switch that. Switch that. And where are we? So he's stopped at Whittier. He'll be picking up the passengers there. Reverse road. Actually, no, reverse. They are yard 10.
Reef. We've already got two log cars unloaded. And that's because the, uh, the sawmill has capacity. I think 15 cars a day gives it a capacity, three logs per car, of 45. So it's going to unload all of those until we get to 45, at which point it's going to say, oh, I don't have any more room. Could push this up to tier 4 if I wanted, I suppose. Forwards, go. So what else do we have? That's all the jobs done here. Um, hang on. Oh, that was the wrong way. How are you doing? I guess what I can do now, we'll get this fueled and watered and just stick it here. At least for now. This guy is somewhere past Ela. Oh yeah, Governor Island. I think what I might need to do is set receiving lines at Bryson. Should be, whoops, there. I'll uh, we'll go there. Um, uh, the switch list while we're here. So those have been picked up and returned. Um, we've got three Appalachia hardwoods and one in Whittier, at least Whittier. Into, yes, okay. So that's the stencil car I left in the uh, spur sitting around doing nothing. I could use the 10-wheeler to go get that, I guess. No, that's the train I want. So, you did not make it. So, unfortunately for me now, this car here will be the first one to release. I'm going to do that. And... Come up here, you go there. Whoops. Keep doing that. You go there. Did it again. And you go there. Who are you? Oh, that's the passenger train. Okay. And we just got paid uh, 53 per car. All the brakes are on. That's good. We'll lace the air brakes up just to be on the safe side. And you are clear to leave this place. Okay. Number three still running. You are 50 passengers, 51 passengers. So all the passengers done. You have five active way bills. Oh yeah, the one on the repair track, not dealing with that. And already three of the uh, log cars are empty. And you're leaving. Bye. So when I bring the stencil car in, I'm going to connect to these, push these up to the end of this spur, so they're way out of the way. We'll leave the stencil car here so I can just run around and head back to there. Okay, he's gone. He 
everybody's running his run. Wow, everybody's just doing their thing. We should be approaching Bryson. Yeah. So, gonna have to run around these. Oh, this is going to. Oh, I don't have any coal. I think the Appalachian Hardwood coal truck is empty. Well, it is what it is. But this appears to be quite a short day. So restricting Bryson, we're on the shunting track. And that's going to slow us down. Three. Uh, do more speed. All I've done is tell it to speed up, but it's going to be stuck at about 15 because we're heading into the yard. Maximum speed there is 15. Meanwhile, it's meandering its way down the river trail. It's not near Ela yet, so we can sit with number one for a bit. Why are you running so slowly? Because you have a stop signal. So Bryson, oh sorry, Whittier does not have a yard signal. Which is a little bit unfortunate because I'd like to call on when uh, the yard is um, open. But really, it appears it either wants me to pull into this line, pull into this line, and then work the yard from this end rather than just coming straight in. Now, if I wasn't doing this, um, I'd have picked this up on the way home with the, uh, the number three train. I think we can take this loose. Yeah, it's empty. So I'm not going to lash up the uh, the pipes here. And you can head back, and we'll close all the switches on the way. And then from this side, that's just telling us we're leaving the block. Proceed with caution, because there are no more warnings. Okay, time to play trains at this end of the line. Three. We'll go manual here. Oh. Now we'll go. So what are we set for here? Straight through. Probably got the switches here because we were set for... shed with the passenger train and they're coming all the way down here and pushing this way so we've got to pick up this one this one not that one that one and that one oh, that's a pain so we do still have some coal we have a lot of coal okay I will I'm going to set it to that way that'll put us on the uh, Fuse there. Back. Oh, dude, where are you going? How's about we stop this? Wow. Okay, let's teach me to pay attention to what I'm doing. Anything in that yard? 
Okay, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and nothing over there. What do we have on the switch list? Don't know what the switch list shortcut is. Um, three cars from Appalachian Hill, that's it. Like I said, short day. And we probably should not be racing through the yard at 25 miles an hour. That's likely to break things. Oh look, I've broken my train already. Oops. Now that could be wear and tear to be perfectly honest. It's either 1% just usage. Or it could be... Um, I ran through the yard too fast and bent some axles. Either way. We're good. And time is 8.30. Switch that forward, so now we'll go AI. Now going back, we're stopping at Ela. That's already stopped at Ela. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that one. That one is uh, approaching the yard. And train. Connect. Uh, brakes at the other end, surprisingly. At least the handbrake and do the that and I think think you'll clear for away. Off you go. So I'd kind of like to leave this train here. But we've got stuff to take out. Actually we don't okay we don't get a bonus for returning cars to the exchange. We get the bonus for delivering them. So all these will carry a bonus except the Bryson team track because team tracks don't get in the house. They don't get bonuses, they're just contracts with uh, the cities. Everything else, you get a bonus. So we'll get a bonus for... No, we don't get a bonus for returning this because, hey, said it doesn't carry a bonus for return okay so that's now in the return yard break. Now I am going to connect the air brakes here because these are kind of heavy. They're full. Okay. There's 20. Seems like a good number. The problem is, is I've got an Ela car to deliver, and I get no, I don't get a bonus for that because it's the house car. Even so, I'm going to do it. Push that through to there. So again, with, with the train coming from Bryson, I will probably do the same thing. We'll push that car through, we'll leave the rest of it on that trunk. You can stop now. So I'll apply the hammer. I'm going to wait till the air releases before I disconnect. Uh, 
Um, and I should probably switch that. And I should probably switch that. Switch that. As soon as that passes, I'll switch that back. So everything else that's slowing down so that's getting to somewhere or it's hit a yard line with the lowest speed now that's stopping yep but this one I want to deal with this one first This is a nice addition where it just keeps a message up there to remind you that a train is waiting for your attention for a reason. Possibly a reason. Maybe you don't have a reason. Okay, you're refueling. We can go deal. So I'm going to keep the Ela House car parked on this one. And break off. Uh, let's go manual. Manual would be fun. Reverse. Too many trees. So I want to pull all of these out. We'll leave that one there. I'm going to pull these two out. Stick them in there. Actually stick everything in there. G3. Well, how am I? How am I going to do this? Actually, no. We go, yeah, we're going to pull them all out. And then stick them on the front of here, because then I'll have the Ela House and all the returns. Uh, that car goes in there. That car goes in there. We'll leave the returns in there. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Done, 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 and release. So this is one of these <coughs> rearrange the boxes uh, puzzles. How do I do this and keep it the most efficient I can? I think the big problem I'm going to have is how much how long these spurs are and what's going to fit BR cars are good the Whittier interchange is good stop we'll get the other one Uh, is Sierra one? Oh yeah, you're refueling. You've got water. Yay. Close 
that off. good with that hitching up to that we'll deal with that in a while three thing 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 yes okay we will connect you with the break off now you can back up 20. so oh what are we done as soon as number one's full, where are you at? You are, oh, midpoint to Bryson from, from uh, Governor Island. That's fine. So now I'm going to connect to this lot. <coughs> <coughs> We're going to see how well this works. things around I guess no do not pass do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars okay now So the first car in is going to be that one. Connect that. Release the handbrake. Back up 10. East. Ooh, are you pumped to the, uh, oh, you are set for the yard. Whoops. You're clear. Of course, now he's probably still convinced that uh, he's restricted speed there. Okay, front time me. Commence. Okay, I'm going to do this manual. Make sure all of the lines are empty. Disconnect that. Oh, manual. Yeah, okay. We can stop now. Actually, that's helpful. So, brakes off. Go forwards. Get rolling. And the first car is loose. I think it should have enough momentum to get down there. Just gonna take one. We'll let it roll for a bit. And just connect kind of that one. Hmm. There we go. Now we're going to toss the next one. Uh, how's that doing? That's past where I want it to be. So, use that. Go. That's rolling. We release that and five miles an hour break. Switch that. I can go 
go the other direction. Now, as soon as we're past here, I want the front of the car. So, we'll go road, forward, yeah, about 15 will do. Keep going. But it did not throw them with a lot of speed. And then we want this car here to join that one. Okay, that's in position. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. The further it gets down the block, the easier it's going to be. And you can stop there. You're doing your thing. Switch that one back the other way, and we get paid. Hey. Like paid, paid is good. And yard mode, back five cars. I can slam that brake on any time I want. I'm going to let it roll into the service yard. Okay. It's at the uh, loading dock. That'll do. And we got paid. See, that's a good pay. I like that pay. That's a really nice payment. Okay, do you want to release the brakes? No, you don't. Okay. Release that. Bleed the brakes. Thank you. And let's go manual. Do this again. Train brake off. Independent brake off. Forwards. Go. And I did switch that. Yes. Did I switch the other one? Yes. Do I need to switch that one? Yes. And yard mode forward. Okay, you. Oh, now, how are we going to do this? Come out there. I actually want you to go that way. But, that's there. And when that train leaves, it's going to come straight down that line there. We're good. Okay, I need to mess with brakes. You need to be cooked up. You need to be disked. Be done. And you're still rolling. You're rolling a little bit fast. Oh, seriously. Ah. Uh. Okay. Try and push it again, because that worked so well last time. Oh, too close. No, I'm going to have to get the drain here. believe I did that again. Uh, that. Uh, 
how are you doing for water? Uh, you could probably use some. Okay. Well, got to mess with this now because I messed up big time. So I'm going to leave that fuse there so we don't go racing off into the wilderness. Which is a possibility, if you're not careful. So question, do I want to turn the passenger train round there? Ah yeah, I might. Get it set up for pricing the Whittier stop. All units. Put a fuse there. Actually, that's a good plan because the passenger train will stop there. The one coming the other way actually probably stop there. Okay, number three, what are you doing? Yes, let's push that car to car lanes. It won't go to. So it'll just connect up to the other one and we'll hook that in. I'm not sure that's one car length though. I was so short of that. That, disconnect that, and we are good for departure. Gonna depart at 20. Probably a good plan. And you. So, what else do we need? Um, switch list. Those three at Bryce. Oh, that one we dropped off. So we just actually all we've got is three three picks up pickups from Bryce, and we've done them. And we're going to take that to the manual. Oh, I'm kind of good with that 14 mile an hour approach. Steam off. Brakes on. More brakes on. Lots of brakes on. Release the brakes. And you're good. Oh, you're more than good. Well, let's back it up a bit, guys. Gotcha. Okay, he's done. Number one. Believe you were calling up. You're done. Raise that, and I think that is clear for. That's number three. Number three. Oh yeah, we're always restricted coming in here, but that should stop at the fuse. Number two. Oh, we are going to have to wait for him. That's the problem. Okay, number two's ready. Inspect. Manual. Road. Road. Forward. Thirty. Uh, probably need to switch that. So you're good. 
How many passengers? There's a metric. 137! Oh! 62 to Whittier, that's a full car. And then 75 to Wheeler, that's a car and a half. I think we're getting to the point where I could use a third car, but that's money. Okay. I guess we're going to watch this one. Okay, he's at a 15 mile an hour signal, plus he's got a fuse, but he's not reporting. Well, he's reporting that up here. He's not reporting it here, though. Interesting. Okay. As soon as you stop, we need to wait till we've got 120 passengers aboard, and then I'm going to override and send to this. There's nothing in the uh, no. There's nothing in the uh, the yard there. That's it. That's the freight house. That's the Bryson house. Or team track, whatever it is. Okay, well, the nice thing about this is it will split the passengers evenly. Well, now we've got Ela passengers getting on. Oh yeah, so we've taken all of the Whittier passengers. That good, because they pay two bucks a trip. Did. Fifty-nine, sixty, sixty. Okay, that's this one. Set it to manual. Set it to road, set it to 30, and it should now go. Good. Number three. Pass the fusey. Uh, resume speed. Sure, why not? He's racing off at 30. Think round about here. Stick another fusey, and if I press nine, I should be at the back of this train. Yay, nice timing. Okay, let's watch this one, Andy. So this is the next one I need to do stuff with. Okay, um, partly it's having an adopted daughter now, and partly it is my back. I am a work at a computer all day, so I'm sitting, and I just need to sometimes just step away from the desk and go sit on the couch where it's softer and more comfortable, plus things to do with um, adopted children. So, there's a few more demands on my evenings, which is why I don't do the, um, the weekday streams. Saturday mornings, Mrs. Osa likes to lie in, teenage Osa doesn't get up, the kids get up if they're here. So, but traditionally, Saturday morning has been, I've got three hours to do whatever I want, so I usually play farms in there. And, uh... That's really where I sit at the moment. Now, since I've had um, 
They identified a cyst in the back in my back, which was causing pressure on my spinal column, which resulted in the extreme pain. Um, they tried to burst that. Um, they claim it didn't work out as good as they would have liked, but it did result in a complete reduction of the pain in my hip. I still have back pain and I've still got to go back and uh, get some more work done. Although that sounds like they're going to inject me with uh, painkillers, strong, strong, strong painkillers, which will last if it works for about six months. We'll see how that works out. Well, we can clear the fusey up here. So this train is now all good to go back as soon as we parked this stuff in. That's 30 tons, that's 40 tons. Stop when you feel like it any time now. Good job. Apply the handbrake. Reverse. Send him off at 30. So we are done here at Bryson today. We've got to bring the passenger freight back, but that's it. So, so yeah, I decided I kind of wanted to stream Railroader for a while. It's the sort of um, it's the sort of game I don't absolutely need continuity of um, of play. Um, problem with things like Farming Simulator. I need to remember what I did last because I'm building towards something. So I have a plan. I need to follow that plan through. And if I don't play for three weeks, then potentially I forget where I'm at and what I'm doing. And if I play multiple farm sim games, I can never remember which one I'm doing what with. So it's just... Um, I, I quickly consolidated my farming simulator streams way back that I had the Saturday stream, I play that weekly, it's easy to keep track of, and then I had a weekday stream that I'd stream for about an hour or two a night, and it would be the same one for about 24 episodes and then I cut it, and that was done and I'd move on to a new farm. It was quite fun that way because I got to see lots and lots of different maps. And then I'd play things like World of Warships or other games that I don't need a continuity. See, see things like truck simulators. I can start up truck simulator, I can get in a truck, I can drive a job, I can leave the game for six months and come back. And all I have to do is get my truck, take a job, drive the job. You know, it's simple. This one I'm doing about a day per stream. Uh, that may not always be true, but we've been streaming now for almost two hours. And as soon as I've delivered this Ela House um, car, everything's done for the day. I don't have anything else to do. Might have something to do over here. Um, oh, you're not connected. Let's let's do that since you're just sitting there. So as soon as all these cars are, f are empty, we can take that back up to two. I can go and get the cars at one, bring them down. But yeah, it's it's sort of a very simple game. I'm not building towards anything. Um, if I'm confused, okay, what are my milestones? Once you've done all the milestones, then it becomes kind of a... Even then, you know, what jobs have I got to do? I can look at the, the switch list to see what needs picked up. If the switch list is empty, um, I go to locations and Whittier Depot and go there. And if I click on that window, it will tell me there's some passengers. And these are all the cars that are ready to go anywhere. Two, four, six. There's eight of those, so nothing there. Um, I can then jump down to either station, blah, 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 and repeat, rinse and repeat. It'll 
tell me what's here. There's no active freight bills. There is a passenger count. Um, how is the passenger train? Um, oh, we're actually on the approach to Ela. So you can sit there. You're fine. I'm going to go back to the passenger train because we're going to have to throw the switch when we get there. But yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, I've got a lot of games I kind of enjoy playing. You know, I, I enjoy playing games like Civilization. The problem is, is I can play them for three or four days, and then I can't get back to them for two or three weeks. At which point, I've forgotten what I was doing. Who am I at war with? What, what am I building? Where am I going? What's my next technology? What's the technology after that? And if I don't keep playing a game regularly, I just forget what I'm doing, and it's sort of, oh well, time to start over again. Okay, I'm doing my thing. Um, um, we're just dropping a car into Ela, so I think. Really? I just want to switch that. That's turned against me. And this is going into the Ela house track, which is right there. Hey, I'm good. Uh, how are we doing with Whittier? Whittier's here. And Whittier's straight in. Okay, so that's all set. Okay. We are already at... Uh, so we've only got three returns. Well, plus all the others. So yeah, it's really it. Partly it's a health thing. Partly it's uh, you know who else is in the house doing what. Um, and really, um, I'm kind of fine with not streaming in the evenings most of the time. But I decided for now. I'm kind of happy streaming. And it's only like once or twice a week, if that. Um, generally don't stream on Mondays because that's train night. Wednesday's church night. Um, Friday, I, I kind of like to reserve Friday for getting the farm ready for Saturday. So make sure, you know, and sometimes it's, oh, I need to, you know, compact the silage. So you don't have to put up with three hours of compacting silage on a Saturday. Or I've got to sell the silage, okay, I'll just, you know, I'll literally, I'll just sit here with um, speaking YouTube videos in the background while I uh, just drive backwards and forwards between the farm and the, the sell point. Mm. Yeah, it's not particularly exciting. It wouldn't make for a particularly exciting stream, so generally what I do on Fridays but outside of that it's I could stream on a Tuesday I could stream on a Thursday generally not both I'll use the other night to watch TV with the rest of the family not that there's a lot we watch but eh, it's a thing think I can actually watch the weight on that one drop except I can't now because uh, I'm going to have to switch back to this one And probably eventually this game will get a little bit unmanageable, at which point I'll say, okay, the series is over, we've done all the things. And because I don't have time to play it outside of the streaming sessions, I don't really want to be, okay, we're running up the line again, and we're doing exactly the same thing this week. And while there's while there's milestones what's that one? All right. while there's milestones to do you know that does provide a little bit of um, 
Mm, what's the word for it? Yeah, difference. Uh, why are you stopping here? I did set you there because there is no yard signal here. And I've got it switched to the yard at this end, which is why it didn't want to go anywhere. If I'd switched it this way, it would have just been, a, oh, you're clear into the block, but you're going to have to stop at that. Anyway, here she comes. Coming round the mountain or something. Um, not sure how long that one's been there. Uh, 7.56, so it should leave about 8.06. I've still got about six minutes before it clears. That's fine. We just come to a stop here. Keep an eye on the car count here. So it's only about six. So if I tell it to go forward ten, that should push it all the way into that delivery spot, and we can reset that. Departing. We go one. Okay. Oh, I must have reduced it to a five minute stop. Yeah, I didn't. I forgot about that. I usually leave it at about 10. You can push it down to five. What I haven't tested is whether you can push it down to one and it will wait for all the people to get off and get on. Okay, oh, good. think I would expect to have a house delivery while there is there we go Back. backwards Ten. yeah sorry I don't think I would expect another house delivery while there's cars in there so we might have a delivery when there's one to take away signal's not clear yet, so the train's not through the halfway mark to uh, Whittier. have a green board. Okay. So, number three, reverse road. Don't do that. And we will hit 30. And I think we can sit with that one for a minute. So we now have a proceed with caution what they call approach in America. So we're clear to the halfway mark. Which 
which is right there. Yeah, passenger train has just passed that. And then as soon as I got through here. So this will raise as a proceed with caution on the secondary route. And then when I switch that the other way, it'll go green for primary. Okay, train has departed. So we may have a slowdown at the midpoint unless the passenger train has cleared it into Whittier. I think that one's coming in hot. We need to make sure that's clear for that loop there. And then we'll drive out to Whittier. And that's clear. That's clear. That's clear, nothing here to pick up Come through there, that's good, and hopefully, yeah, okay, so freight is clear for the exchange yard, apart from the Whittier approach. And you're already in. It's going to have a clear signal all the way back to there. And yes, he's now on a warning signal because Whittier is the last block, so it's not happy <coughs> to give me a, a clear all the way through. The train is home. Up to 4,200. How are we doing on our finances today? I mean, I know I bought another locomotive first thing this morning. So we spent 5,670. But we're back up to 4,200. I could, I could sell the 10 wheeler, buy a new locomotive in the morning. I tend, I tend to disfavour the 10 wheeler because it just doesn't have the coal and water load. And if I do so on the 10 wheeler, then this locomotive will initially stay at the Whittier interchange and sawmill. The one that's on the passenger train will just stay there. Okay, we are at. Now that's giving me a green. Okay, cool. We got paid 168 bucks for 106 people. Only 106. Yeah. It is what it is, I guess. So yeah, if I hadn't collected the ten, the the stencil car, I'd have stopped here and picked it up now. 
that's all done. These are all good, that's good. And those are good. Um, where are you tooting? Oh, we're back to a uh, morning. In the block. Okay, we'll get off the train here and get everything set up for a Bryson turnaround. There you go. Did I take that? I did. Put that back. Okay, that's set for that way. And the next train out of here will be a logging train. So I'll throw that to approach signal, twenty five MPH, yes, okay. So passenger train's already on his uh, turnaround loop. How are you doing? You still have a log left on the car. Get that thing unloaded. That's fuel, 4.7, 2.8. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll switch you. We'll switch you. And we'll switch you. And you. Uh, that is your problem. Oh, he's still stopped at the station. Okay. Did not realise. And number three. Yard. Ten, go. So when did the passenger train get there? 8.07, 8.12. He will be leaving pretty much now. So, not going to lace up the brakes. Just send it back another 10. Okay, let's uh, take care of this guy. There we go, that's better. there. That one's only temporary. Uh, I'm through, so we're all clear. Okay then. for three cars to deliver. See, that's, that was about 70 bucks. That was good payment. Okay, you're going to need to turn that around. Drop speed to about 20. There are speed restrictions on this. Why? Now, sometimes like a Bryson, I'll take the passenger cars round the Y at the times, eh, not so much. I think a Larka, the Y spur is very short, so there's only enough room for the locomotive. 
But most of the other ways you can get, you know, two cars and a locomotive in two off each end. This one is even more free because all of the spurs go somewhere. to deal with number three. Oops. Now. Okay, you're done. Find the handbrake, disconnect that. Number three. Reverse ten. And when I figure I can just push that into there. Leave it connected and we'll do a run around. Switch that. And switch so he can't get past there. But I think switch that there. And again, well, let's uh, reset that. Good job. Forward road. Yeah, 15. I'm in no hurry. Let's go deal with number two. Ah. <coughs> oh. You can't get by the switch. Let's go. And might as well set up the passenger cars ready for the return. They are going to be going back to it. Good grief, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is... That. Now I can take that fuse out. Ah, uh, three. No. Idiot. Fifteen. I should be number three. No, I should be number two. That was the problem. AI. Yard. Reverse. Five. Let's go see what damage I did to number three. Much better. And that can be straight. That's on green. That's on red. Uh, let's tidy up the back end too. That's on green. That's on green. Actually, everything's good. Okay, so number two. We're all set. Brakes off. Uh, let's lace up the brakes. And I am going to say that this should be the midday train to. Bison. Let's uh, wait an hour. Okay, half past twelve to Bryson. This yard two forwards. Road thirty. Check the way here because obviously uh, next train through there is going to be a uh, logging train which probably needs to leave about now. Hi, dude. How's your train? All empty. Oh, release the handbrakes. Lace the hand brakes. Probably should lace up the brakes because we uh, not important right now, but could be important later. And 20. Okay. Uh, SCR 3 is stopped for a fusey. SCR 2 is stopped for a fusey. What is SCR 2 doing? Um, oh. That was a temporary thing. You can go. That's a permanent thing. You can stay there. 
Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's ready to go back. Well, not too fast. Let's uh, freight. Wait, your house track is going to need picked up, and I'll do that tomorrow. With your sawmill, there's one in C2, there's one in S1, S2. Not fussed about those. How many passengers we got? 46. We're pretty much at the end of the day with passengers. So, SCR1. Uh, put that that way. And you can go to the logging camp. You are done. Um, so I'm going to park this in the shed. Um, of course it would help if I uh, parked it in the shed. So yeah, we'll run up and get the uh, drop off the eight car train. We'll bring back four log cars. That will be about a total of 12 cars, 16 cars. Maybe, I don't know. But you can stop there. Area headlight, headlight off, that's good. Stick it in neutral. And CR3, apply the handbrake. Okay, three is done. Oh wow, we haven't even left town yet. I'm able to extend this sideways. Yes, doesn't give you any extra words. Actually, we'll ride with this one for a bit. Um, 4,600, okay. Let's do some math here. 4,600, the 10 wheeler is worth 5,000. So that's 9,700. That locomotive there will cost 8,500. That locomotive there will cost 10,000. We need to find another 500. I know for a fact our uh, um, so we have finances um, press the depot, Whittier interchange, Whittier depot, Whittier sawmill. There you go. We get paid about two thousand from the logging camp. So we do want a small locomotive permanently assigned to the Connolly branch that can also deal with the, the sawmill cars. Um, but I think I'm kind of ready to get a big locomotive and then we can order um, Bryson Bridge repairs if we have enough money at the end of the day. I think we might look at that. So let me inspect equipment that is now set for an East Whittier chin to change sale we'll do that at the end of the day this thing is still waiting Whittier oops didn't want to do that when did you get there? I arrived at Whittier Depot at 1220 it should be leaving in about five minutes Check the passenger count. 53, 0. Oops. You know 
what I forgot to do? Copy. That's why nobody got on this car. Everybody's on that one. Tis what it is. Uh, let's go back to the logging train because we're about to pass the logging camp one, I think. Oh no. Got a ways to go to logging camp one. Okay, I'm going to get myself a drink. I'll be back in a minute. Me. about going to bed warning wherever that went lots of things okay we're at the uh, logging camp one so I need that can stay that way Let's switch that over and as soon as we pass this point, I'll switch this one over. Okay, so once we drop those off, we come back down here. It'll stop because dead end. I can pick those up, take them back. So I'm just controlling this train with switch settings and pretty much just travel to the end of the road except when I'm connecting and disconnecting obviously I can't I can't remain connected so you do have the ability to rename things I could change this to Whittier Sawmill or Whittier Sawmill Company or uh, Connolly Creek Logging Company. Just to indicate that that's where the trains are signed. It's a company train rather than a Swain County. Oh, speed limit on the line is actually fair. Right. So yeah, when you set exactly at the speed limit, it'll just say, oh, you've told me to do 25 miles an hour, and the track speed's 20. If I set it to 30, it will report track speeds. Anyway, 25 is good for this, but I think, is this, this might be where, we're dropping off. Yep. So the problem is with selling a vehicle, you don't get it doesn't sell immediately, it sits there until the interchange is served. Buying vehicles arrive as soon as you pay for them. to do here rather than sleep I'm, oh, I can't because this isn't going to go until 6 in the morning ok put the handbrake put the handbrake disconnect and you 
we go back down the line. We might stay here and watch the logs. How many do we have? Interesting. Connolly Creek L2 has 15 logs. So eight cars will get approximately two per car. Because we're draining this one at eight per trip. The other one I'm only draining at four per trip. Not sure how long it has. Well, actually, it would tell me. Yeah, zero logs load. There we go. Point 0.1 logs. So it's slowly going to start draining those. Still got 14.8, but it just lost 0.8. Anyway, should we go see what number one's doing? Number two slowing down for Ela. And then So yeah, I thought I could be clever and just sleep through the night. Or sleep up to midnight, we'll get the end of day um, financial rollover where we get paid for stuff we've done, we pay the engineers that we've worked, we pay the uh, servicing crews and everything else. And then I could um, potentially buy a new locomotive, but that's only going to see me up to about 6,000. This will take me up to 11, which is enough to buy the Mogul, which I would like, but I could skip that and uh, go with the 10 wheeler, the big 10 wheeler. Never used that one because it wasn't really available. Uh, five car lengths? Nah, yeah, that's 10. Let's go to And that whistle was a little bit loud. Okay, now I need to switch that one. So this is now all switched so that when we come back up here, we're going to drop off there. There we go. 44 passengers at Ela. And somewhere here. Where will I use the handbrake? Slice that up and definitely need to make sure that you uh, set the brakes on this one because it's only four cars, but that's 230 tons. That's quite a bit. So here we are at Ela. Shall we check? No passengers waiting, no freight waiting. There's nine passengers there. And 31 on the other one. Thirty-two on the other one. Somebody just ran up because oh my goodness, the train's there. Quick! I need to get on the train. Okay. And if you haven't figured it out, the little banners here, the colour indicates where on the line it's going. So down at silver, it's red, it proceeds through a sort of reddish orange, yellow at Whittier, green at Bryson, Ela's sort of a between yellow and green, um, and then a Laka. Junction is, I th think, light blue. The Larker itself is a darker blue. And then as you head out to 
Nantahala and Andrews, it gets more and more purple as you go. Different shades of blue and purple out that way. So, so you can easily see by turning the banner on, which is the tab key, what cars need to be grouped together because they're going to approximately the same place and by the shades of the colours how far along the line they're actually going to go. So if we ever open up um, Walker Logging it's going to be a different colour from Ela and Bryson. Everything in the Bryson group is going to be the same colour. Though. Anyway, we're nearly back to the bottom again and if we look here this locomotive should now be a bit fixed yeah it's up to a hundred percent so that's a good thing So as I said, I don't know if that was wear and tear or whether it was me driving down the tracks. I see that's 99%. How's the other one? Oh, I could have just done that. That's at 99 So it does seem to be a little bit of wear and tear um, there at 99%. So, you know, there is some level of 32. Yeah, we, we picked up a few peoples. That's good. Okay, so, don't want to mess with anything just yet. There. easy so I can turn that off close that and we in actual fact I'm gonna put that so actually the locomotive will not sell until I put it into East Whittier exchange and there is a service action at East Whittier so if I if I parked it in the engine shed it, it'll be there in the morning. So. But anyway. I don't think I should have slammed the brakes on that hard. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, don't want to do 45. 15's good. I mean, obviously, as, as time wears on and it takes us longer to do things during a day, I'm going to end up with, there's going to be a locomotive down at Bryson that's doing some collections, or a Larker Junction, or something like that. At which point, yeah, it makes sense to fill in the time doing these sort of itty-bitty collections. But... Uh, Okay, you're good. 
good. I guess tomorrow I will be using the mogul to do all that. You want a muffin? Okay. So I leave that switched. Leave that dude. So I want to check. Um, okay, my balance yesterday was six thousand sixty-six. We made thirty-four hundred. Wonder how many we'll have today. Coal's full. The calling tower at Bryson is full. Well, isn't full, but has a lot in it. And then we got repair parts too. Do I have coal at Bryson, a coal car for Bryson, yet? Uh, no, not Bryson Engine Service. Coaling Tower. No. Gonna need to buy a coal car for here, eventually. Right now, not an important thing. So. He stopped. Stick him on manual. Some neutral brakes are on. Mm. Okay, one last train. We've cleared Governor Island. This looks like the mid. This midpoint signal. So much easier to tell when it's dark. Yeah. So midpoint signal between Governor Island and Bryson. So I think given the passenger quantities, um, probably end passenger services shortly. to the middle. Now I'm set for the... So I can, actually I could set to there. It's not the way I usually go, but hey, it's different. Um, back to follow. So once we're there, we run all the way down to the end of the middle row. Switch to there. There's water there. Um, I'm going to say I'm good for fuel at the moment. Okay. Diverging approach at Bryson East. So yeah, this is a the top signals approach. The next one's diverging approach, and then that one is sort of restricted approach. Right through to the diverging line. And we'll 
will stop at platform two. The train will stop here for five minutes until, uh, unless I tell it, there's still 68 passengers here. They all want to go to Whittier though. And the same tough services are being suspended as soon as everybody gets off the train. 32 and 10. Okay. They tagged over their last car. Actually, I'm going to put this on manual. We can leave when we get paid. So, definitely going to buy a big locomotive tonight. I'm not sure it's going to be a 10-wheeler or a mogul. We'll see that first thing in the morning. And stop that. Thank you. I mean, most of our locomotives are flawed. The moguls are efficient. The 10-wheelers, not quite so much. too many breaks. Okay. Now you're good. Oops, that one too. So theoretically I've got room for about three passenger trains here if I wanted to. <coughs> first let's percent oiled 100% oiled 100%. that's good 
Okay, so that locomotive is all good. And apart from condition 99%, fine. Let's jump over here. Don't care about you. And this is one of mine. That's good. Where's my train? 100% oiled, 100%. I said I think they get oiled as part of the um, being in the service area. Now for a, oh that one needs looked at. It's interesting, um, but it is in a hundred percent condition. But these ones over these ones over here are mine, so that's not a problem. But yeah, these need oiled and it's still at a hundred percent let's go up to Connolly Creek L2 and see how those are getting on so yeah we've only got one one log per car at the moment is 1.1 And these are down to 98, so <coughs> eventually I'm going to have to push them through the service yard. I don't know at what point they start getting... Um, ...a problem. Uh, they're all oiled now, so they're good. Let's go back to here. I think we are ready to sleep the night, so we will do that. <coughs> sleep. Daily reports ready. There's the daily report, and we will check that. And our reputation is 110%. So we now have. Whoops. Don't do that. Uh, payment of 20, balance is 47, paid for $20 for four hours of engineering services, payment from Whittier Sawmill, yeah, just shy of $2,000. Shop crew, three bucks at Bryson for the locomotive and the uh, two passenger cars, one at uh, Whittier. Um, we sold a locomotive, got 5,000, we got 13 cars delivered here. And we want to buy a train. We're gonna buy the train. And we'll have 1740 left after buying that one, which is not quite enough to buy the bridge. That's fine. I could do that one. The Americans are surprised. This one, as I said, I've never used this one, but I might buy one of those later. Right now, we're having the mogul. And this is going to need some fuel and water. And oh, that's the other thing we need to do. So that should be 100% oiled. But stuff delivered to the exchange is not. So every day in the morning, I'll just run down the deliveries, make sure everything gets oiled. Okay, so that's everything received. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven this time, not eight. Two saw 
dust cars with chips. One to Stenzel and another one to Stenzel, one to Wheeler Farmer Supply and one to Appalachian Hardwoods. So another fairly easy day. All of these should now be ready to pick up, except that one there. That's always going to be a pain in the butt. Those are ready to go. Let's check the, the depots for uh, work. 137 passengers. Freight, we have one at Appalachian Hardwoods, one at the Bryson Freight House, one at the Bryson Team Track. Which one? The one at the back, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So these two aren't... No, those two are very slow. So that needs to go back. Check Ela. One active freight from the farm supply and a few passengers and Whittier. Oops. Whittier. Oh, the East Whittier. Um, so, anything at the interchange I'm not interested in. The repair track I'm not interested in. At Stenzel, wanting to go to the interchange. Yeah, we need to know that. Uh, Whittier Sawmill, mm. we'll check those off too, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. So when I pull up the uh, switch list, this is everything I need to bring back to the interchange by the end of the day. I'm not too fussed about having a switch list for deliveries okay that is everything for the day let's check the milestones so if I want to build the Bryson Bridge it's 1,500 I can afford that okay we will buy that and uh, locations East Whittier interchange I want to schedule a second delivery for 835 so we are now going to get another delivery which is going to be everything for the bridge plus there might be one or two extra cars so we might get a couple more cars for the sawmill or stuff like that but we won't see that till 8 30 but we are now going to have to get our skates on because we have to clear that yard so it's ready to receive another delivery <clears throat> but i think for now we are done um i will be streaming sometime next i might i probably won't stream thursday but it is an option but for now we'll just say We'll be back next week with some more Railroader on Sunday. And I will be back on Saturday with Farming Simulator 22 on Glenleithen. But for now, I'm out of here. Have fun, everyone. Bye.